this big group of defensive line, you know, Coach Rodney Garner, familiar with, what's that been like, you know, early on as you head into spring ball? Mm -hmm. uh, I, mean, it, I mean, you can't you can't ask for a better group. You know, that's the way I see it. Uh, we got one of the best coaches in the, you know, the whole you know, in, you know, college football. Coach, uh, Coach Garner let us know, you know, there was there was no place he would have left Georgia for, you know, except Auburn. You know, it's, you know, you know he's an Auburn man, and you know that's that's one of the things that I had a had a pleasure of having, you know, since being here. You know, uh, you know, Auburn coaches. You know, you can't. I wouldn't want, uh, um, you know, I wouldn't want another guy, you know, than somebody, you know, who's been in the program, you know, who, you know, you know, his way around. But as far as talent, you know, we're stacked, and uh, I feel like talent with talent, we got competition. There's no better, there's no better secret to success than competition within a program. I can guarantee that. But you know, um, there's a difference between talent and uh, you know potential. You know, I believe everybody, everybody in the D line room can have potential, but it's up to us to bring it out. You know, and that's and I harp on that to myself, as, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then you know to the to the DNs and to the rest of the D time. We have, I believe we have the, I believe we have all the talent in the world. But you know, it, it's up to us to bring it out, and I feel like Coach Gardner will get that out of us, and then and then you know you know the guys will, will do less thinking, you know, during the games and just play. Do you have a personal relationship with him? Is he in the past? Yeah, I do. Um, I remember almost coming, to, you know, to Georgia, you know, my sophomore year, and then, you know, we you know, mixed up with another of my teammates, you know, but that's, you know, that's long down the line. The only factor that I can think about of me not going to Georgia was just the 3-4 defense, to be honest. It was nothing negative ever, you know, with me and Coach Gardner. He was always, uh, you know, a friendly guy, him and his wife, and me and my family. What was that like when he visited you? Um, you know, I mean, you know, you know, always polite, uh, up for it. The thing I liked about the most was it always, it wasn't always that, you know, you know, happy, happy, you know, recruiting, to be honest. He told me, you know, the real side of, you know, your work and uh, what I like best is um, at, one, at one practice, I think I was watching, you know, he would just sit there. And, well, I think it was summer, you know, summer, I don't, I don't believe that they can coach. So, you know, the players were just coaching. And I could tell how well the, the players coached on how well, you know, the coach coached them. You know, if it makes sense. You know, I'm a recruit. I'm watching the players being able to. I'm watching the seniors being able to coach their players just because the coaches, just because the coaches have taught the seniors so well. So I think that showed me, you know, from a young age, you know, just how well you know Coach Garner was, you know, had a, had an impact on those players. From the few times we've gotten to meet with Coach Garner, he's got so much to say. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> he like that oh, every yeah. single day. Every day, guys? every day. But um, you know, it, it, it always it always isn't you know that up tempo fire. You know, you know he he's a calm you know cool calm collected guy. But at the same time, as a, as a D line coach, I think you want that fiery guy. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I, I'm D line O line. I think you always want that you know that kind of guy. You want a guy that's gonna clap it up. You want a guy who will praise you. But then you know he'll you know he'll put that fire to you. You know. Um, D line online is not anything to play with, you know. I just I keep it as simple as that. If you want a nice guy D line, you won't have nice, you won't have mean players. You know, it, it's not going to add up. So uh, we definitely have the right coach for the district. I don't know if O line would disagree, but does D line have to be the meanest position on the team? Without a doubt. Uh, I, and, and and here's the thing: it's the difference between being mean, you know, on the field. You know, and being who you want off the field. I remember Nick Fowler could have been one of the meanest players, you know, in college football two years ago. But he was, I'm told, you know, he was one of the, you know, the coolest guy off the field. I know me, his relationship was, you know, was, you know, was always fun, you know, uh, fun loving. So, and I feel like, you know, that's that's something I got to learn how to do. You know, flip that switch. You know, I'm not nice on the field, but I still got to learn. You know, I still got to learn how to get meaner. And like I said, I think that comes from coaching. You know, at some standpoint, you know, um, and Coach Garner can definitely bring it out of. That's not just you. It's these guys, Jeff. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. D, oh, yeah. Nose. I mean, everyone's good guys off the field. It's, yeah, a, it's just about flipping that switch when you get on there. Exactly. When, when you look back to last year, what's the biggest thing this defensive line's got to improve on? Uh, I feel like uh, tenacity, you know, um, controlling blocks. You know, it's, it's been times, and, uh, you know, including myself, where, you know, on film, you know, I'm getting controlled, you know, and, and that's something that just can't happen. We gotta have, to, we gotta have control of blocks. Um, so you know, um, getting stronger definitely. You know, one of the things you know we're focusing on. I know my numbers have jumped up completely. I know all these guys' numbers have jumped up. So, um, but uh, you know, it's and, and then and then what it all comes down to is just you know less talking, just doing it. You know, just showing. You know, that's. And I feel like oh, the whole team is just anxious. You know, I know spring ball, fall ball, but you know to just get back out there. You know, and just reestablish what Auburn football is really about. Long wait. Or it's almost six months away. <laughs> but you know that's 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 why you know this thing this thing is a grind. You know it doesn't happen with words. It doesn't happen one day. You got to do a grind day after day after day. And, um, you know I mean I remember January coming back. You know seeing these guys' faces long and you know drowning. But now you know guys are actually you know buying in. You know and that's and I couldn't ask for you know a 
better a better look of a team at this point. You know, it's a new day. I think guys have bought into that quote. Coach Monzo has let it be known, and um, I believe the coach staff has been really intense with you know showing their faith. And believe in that. So, you know, the players are buying into it. But we talked about the green jerseys and, you know, working toward that. Was physicality and endurance, were these things uh, an issue as a team near the end of last year? Nick, or? Um, I, I, I'm not going to say physicality was a, was a, you know, overall, you know, just the whole issue. It could, it, 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 it was definitely a factor in, you know, it, you know, in some games, cardio, you know, whatever you want to say, but, um, you know, and and, and and in saying that, you can't put it all on coaches. Some some of it's just players, um, you know, personality. If you have a grand jersey by this point, then at some point you show you have the ability to have the physical, emotional, you know, uh, and mental stability to be able to, you know, um, you know, put your best um, foot forward. And, um, you know, I've been at the beginning. It was it was a ton of orange jerseys, meaning you know the worst you know the worst that you can be. Um, so now there's like 50, 55 greens. Um, you know, maybe even more. I'm sure to, tomorrow, you know, there'll be more. It's one of the last days. I know guys want to put the best foot forward. Orange, then blue, blue then green. Blue would be average. And then 50, about 55 on the greens. 55, you know, maybe more. I remember, I remember, I probably seen one orange yesterday. I believe so. But definitely a ton of greens. I remember coaches like, whoa, where all these greens come from? You know, so, uh, but you know, it started off fun. started off like, well, okay, you know, I ain't get a green. Then you can really see guys flip that switch like, all right, I want a green. You know, I want a green. And so I feel like Coach Mazo did a good job with that and bringing that here. Uh, before signing day, Montrevious identified you as someone who we got close with on this team. How excited are you for him to get here? Oh, man. It's, 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 it makes me happy because, you know, I remember Jeff was the top of the tackle in Georgia, then me and then him. You know, I mean, you know, that's, that's just something that, you know, I hope the Auburn, you know, can, you know, just continue to do. Um, I know the best D-line will come out of Georgia, you know, you know, let that be said. But uh, on Travis, you know, he's a he's an excellent, you know, young man, but uh, he's definitely a, a brilliant player. I know we had to have him when we sat down and watched film with Coach. Um, he can come in right away and help. Um, I believe that. All the players know that. But um, with any talent from high school, you still have to come in and work hard. Um, so um, that's one of the things I just tell them, you know, right now. Just make sure you're working out. Make sure you know staying ready for camp when you come in. But uh, yeah, me, you know, you know, me and family, you know, we build a good relationship. You know, just you know, just meeting him. But I, I can tell, you, I can tell you, you know, he's just an overall good young man. And he's as anxious as any, as any of us, you know, to get to work. But um, yeah, last year, you guys were used to that rotation with Coach Van Gorder, mm -hmm. nine or ten out of the area to play. Coach Garner's going to be the same way. Yeah, you all ready for that? Competition yeah, I, I, I believe competition, like I said, there's no better secret to success, you know. Uh, uh, he told us, you know, he wants 10 D linemen, five ends, five tackles. And he said, to be honest, with some of these teams like Washington State, um, you know, Texas A&M, you know, you're going to need more D linemen, especially because Washington State's our first game, um, 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 you know, if I'm correct. So, you know, guys, you know, guys have to step up to the plate. You know? um, I remember last year, I don't think we had a 3D, meaning, one set, two set of four, and then three set of four. I remember guys getting injured, guys just tired. You know, it was it's just guys, you know, dropping off like flies. And I feel like the cardio and, and the physical aspect of uh, you know the workouts will help us be able to you know to stay um, you know stay intact. Um, guys got to learn. There's a difference between being injured and hurt too.